political analyst and professor at Tehran University. He joins me now from Tehran for more context here. Uh, good to have you on the program. Uh, as I mentioned there, uh, some Iranian officials say the explosion was the result of sabotage. If that's the case, who would be behind it and what would be there to gain? Well, it was most probably the United States that was behind it because the only country that really has the capability to carry out that sort of operation against uh, Iranian sovereignty and against Iranian assets would be the United States. And I think that uh, Trump uh, is probably was using this, along with a host of other anti-Iranian activities, to um, show his strength uh, to the American public and especially to his Likud backers uh, and his Christian Zionist backers in the United States. Uh, for the election campaign and the elections that will be held in a few weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Why is this particular nuclear facility so significant? Well, it is a small building, and uh, the nuclear program is much more extensive, and the building was uh, more easily accessible than the underground facilities. So uh, it wasn't exactly a, a very... Uh, hard to get target. But there were instruments in the building that were uh, expensive and important, and uh, some of them were damaged. It will take a few months from now for the repairs to be completed so that they could begin working uh, in accordance to plan. So the, there, the setback was uh, at least a few months. Okay. And meanwhile, the head of the UN nuclear watchdog, uh, Rafael Grossi, is in Iran this week. Does, what does Iran need to do to satisfy the agency during this visit? Well, I think what needs to be done is that the agency has to satisfy Iran. The uh, nuclear agreement that was signed between Iran and the P5 plus one has not been implemented by the Europeans. The Americans, of course, have torn the agreement. And uh, if they are not going to abide by their side of the bargain, then the Iranians feel that they do not have the obligation to do so either. Right now, the Iranians continue to implement the agreement in, in parts. Uh, in, with regards to research and development, the Iranians have discontinued with their obligations. But with regards to IAEA access, uh, Iran continues to give them extraordinary access. At the moment, the International Atomic Energy Agency has more access to Iran's nuclear program than it has in any other country in the world. And the Iranians, many Iranians and many in Iran, the Iranian parliament are now saying, well, if no one else is going to abide by the nuclear deal, then why should we give the IAEA this sort of access? Okay, we'll leave it there. Mohammed Morandi in Tehran. Thank you.